It's time to rank the Fangs of Mitsudo in Kangen Omega from weakest to strongest. Take note that this video was made around chapter 95 of Kangen Omega, so later information is unknown to me, and we don't know who the second, third, and seventh Fangs of Mitsudo are currently, meaning this video will only include the first Fang, Kure Irio, fourth Fang, Omori, fifth Fang, Kanogito, sixth Fang, Yumi Monkey Boy, and eighth Fang, Misasa. Help me reach my 2021 goal of 100k subscribers by subscribing if you're new to the channel or you just haven't already. It's free, easy to do. Also consider checking out the description for the Discord server and my Twitter. Now, enjoy the video. So the weakest thing in my opinion and what the majority of people think the weakest is, we have Yumi or better known as Monkey Trash. He's the ex 6 Fang Metsudo or the Traitor Fang who betrayed Metsudo and joined Purgatory to be part of the A-list Gladiators. In the Purgatory vs Kangen tournament, he faced Misasa and was absolutely rolled and destroyed. During their fight we learn of his purgatory wins which was at least 9 and known losses which was 5 and now 6 so there's around 5 other purgatory members that are stronger than Yumi which of course it's pretty obvious compared to how trash he was in his fight. Sadly we didn't get his official weight and height, this is one of the only Purgatory vs Kangen matches where we didn't receive that information so unlucky regarding that. After Kanogit though, the 5th Fang resigned after the Kangen Ashura Annihilation Tournament. Mitsudo selected Yumi who at the current time was a rookie bodyguard to become the 6th Fang, which of course ended up shocking a lot of people. And then shortly after him becoming the Fang we had the two main bodyguards of Mitsudo suspecting him from the start. He ended up killing another bodyguard who used to work for Misa when Misa was the captain of the 5th squad which resulted in Misa having a personal grudge against the traitor Fang and that's why he ended up fighting him in the Kangen vs Purgatory tournament or why he baited him out to absolutely destroy him. Prior to the Purgatory vs Kangen tournament he also faced Jose and was able to defeat him but he did get his arm snapped so he is Stronger than Jose, but he's not miles above where he'll take zero damage, which kinda gives a rough estimate of how strong he is. As prior to him getting destroyed by Misa, he was hyped up a lot, which you know ended up being a letdown. He was hyped up by Himuro to be as powerful as Kanogito, which of course is very you know, wrong. And we also had Segubahashi saying that Yumi is the top class of Purgatory's Gladiators, which makes sense because he's an A, you know, list division fighter, but regarding the other A class fighters, he is kind of middle of the pack or low end from what we've seen so far, so Segubahashi was kind of wrong on that as well. So most of the statements of his power prior to us actually seeing him fight is kind of disregarded now, apart from him being able to defeat Jose which I kind of guess is pretty impressive. It's more like a middle of the pack fighter which honestly is a big letdown for someone as you know the Fang of Metsudo meant to be the top of Metsudo's army and everything regarding that. I'll cover quickly his power and abilities that he showcased. One of his most powerful aspects is his raw brute strength alongside him considering himself a martial arts savant and someone who uses the human weapon style such as fighting like a spear, fighting like a sword and fighting like other various weapons. That's pretty much his fighting style while also having some tempo and other techniques he used throughout the fight but as a whole we didn't get to see too much from him because Misa absolutely dominated him but yep that's in my opinion the weakest thing I hope everyone watching this video agrees with this. Next I decided to place the fourth Fang of Metsudo Omori but there could be an argument made that the next Fang could be switched with him so whether you agree or disagree with this this really depends on your views but Omori was the fourth Fang of Metsudo whose current age in Kangen Mega is 45 standing at 206 centimeters and weighing in at 139 kilograms being an absolute monster. With us learning in Fist of the Seeker, the prequel manga to Kangen Ashura, that Omori was actually a winner of an Annihilation tournament 16 years prior to Kangen Ashura, which is honestly insane and apparently he actually dominated everyone in the tournament who he faced so it wasn't even close, he just easily got that dub which of course is you know one of the most impressive things regarding him that we've learnt about. Sadly we haven't actually seen him fight on screen. In Kangen Ashura he did battle Kano Gito to you know replace him in the Kangen Ashura Annihilation tournament and lost but this was off screen and he was key in evolving Kano 
further to Roll Hatsumi Sen in the round prior. And the way he became the Fang of Matsudo is also pretty interesting. Unlike many other people part of Matsudo's army, they rise up through the ranks and eventually become the Fang of Matsudo. Omori was scouted from outside his army to become the Fang of Matsudo due to his crazy raw power. So hopefully we get to learn more about him in, you know, future arcs or, you know, flashbacks or something like that. And if I had to guess, he's probably stronger than the Fangs we haven't seen thus far, such as the 2nd, 3rd and 7th. So yeah, Mori's probably an absolute beast and he could maybe be above the next Fang, which I have 8 Fang Misasa. So whether you have Misasa or Mori over one another is pretty much up to you, but I chose Misasa to be more impressive, mainly based on that we've seen more of him and kind of know how strong he truly is. As we know, prior to becoming the 8th Fang Matsuda, he was the former second in command of the extermination force, with him actually being the master of Retsudo, which is, you know, pretty impressive. His current age is 29, with him standing in Kanganashi at 173 centimeters and 68 kilograms. A smaller character, but regardless, one of the strongest characters we've seen in the series, as demonstrated in his fight against Yumi Monkey Boy, where he absolutely dominated him. Prior to becoming the Fang of Mitsude, he was the best hand-to-hand -hand specialist of the Extermination Force, meaning he's a better hand-to-hand -hand fighter than Retsudo, who was pretty much, I would say, is equal to Kurei Ryan and Oma based on conversations. He's probably a weapon user, that's probably why he gets all his power. He's probably very smart as well, but with Misa being his master and better than him at hand hand combat is, you know, absolutely insane. With him also being one of the best, if not the best, close range fighter in the series. With us also having Lo Long give him some height, with, you know, Lo Long being probably the strongest fighter on Purgatory, doesn't, you know, respect too many people so far. Misa is one of the only people he's shown respect to, with him saying that he would have difficulty in defeating or facing Misa. During his fight with Monkey Trash, he showcased that he's a practitioner of Silat, a martial art originating from Southeast Asia that centers around soft movements, with it being a soft sidle with a blend of defense and offense, with it being very similar to Muay Thai, but doesn't have the same super aggressive nature with hard movements. It's more countering and, you know, just absolutely rolling his opponent like he did against Yumi. And he also has insane raw power for someone his size, with him in the flashback when he was training Retsudo, having the build to pretty much crack a boulder by just flicking his hand on it which honestly is insane with him showcasing to be a perfect fighter against Yumi with him really making no mistakes during the fight he did get like a few little cuts but as a whole he dominated him throughout the fight and even prior to uh, Kanagito recognizing the power of Misa he commented that he thought Retsudo should have been the 8th Fang Retsudo with Retsudo's response being that Misa is better at martial arts than him or hand-to-hand -hand combat and that Misa will be better for the position. If Kanagito recognizes the power of Retsudo to be the 8th Fang and he considers Misa better than him, that just showcases how impressive Misa truly is and worthy as one of the strongest Fangs we've seen in the series and as a whole one of the strongest characters we have in the series in my opinion. The next and second strongest Fang in my opinion I have Kurei Irio, also known as the Mighty Demon and the first Fang Metsudo who was key in the rise of Metsudo and everything he's accomplished to this day. His current age in Kangen Omega is 93, with him being the Kurei Clan Elder. We know thanks to Kangen Zero and Kangen Ashura flashbacks that he was defeated in one Kangen match, but we don't know who defeated him. And we actually don't know how many Kangen matches he has won, but I'm guessing it's probably over 100, probably an insane amount if he was key to the Rise of Metsudo, with him being an absolute monster. Even at his old age in Kangen Ashura being 91, him unleashing some of his powers able to crack the floor around him like a Dragon Ball character, so... I'm guessing Kurei Iro is an absolute monster. Probably doesn't have a 100% removal rate like Kurei Ryan, but probably has mastery over techniques, probably is a very tactical fighter, and overall an absolute beast. And then the Fang, which I consider to be the strongest that we've seen so far in the story, we have the fifth Fang, Kano Egito. We saw in his fight against Lutien in Kangen Omega what he's truly capable of and how strong he really is. We also have Kurei Iro stating that this is his successor, implying that Kano Egito is above Kurei Iro, or that's how I 
take it at least. In Kangen Omega, he's 201 centimeters tall and 130 kilograms for his weight, an absolute thick boy. His Kangen wins is 161 and known Kangen losses is 1, with his only defeat coming from Kroki Gensai in the Kangen Ashura Annihilation Tournament. And even during Kangen Ashura, Kroki Gensai stated and considered Kano Gito an equal, and now in Kangen Omega, he states that he doesn't know whether he can beat the current Kano Gito, so yeah. Kano Ito, in my opinion, is the strongest Fang. Probably will always be the strongest Fang. We know what his power and abilities are. I've covered that in multiple videos. An absolute beast. And yep, that's my current ranking for the Fang de Mitsudo. Hopefully we get the reveal of the other Fangs at some point to, you know, see how strong they are. Hopefully we get more stuff regarding Kurei Iryo, Omori, and Misa to see how strong they are. And yep, that's it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to subscribe, join the Discord. And yep, that's it, guys. Peace.